people hear Roku and they think about the set-top box that lets you watch online content on your TV. Mm -hmm. But in reality, that's not your main source of revenue, and there are many other sources of revenue. So what is the way Roku is making money these days? So Roku is a platform for television. We distribute our platform through players and retail, like you said. But the fastest growing method for us is actually TVs. We license the TV manufacturers, and they, uh, and they ship TVs that are powered by Roku. We actually went from 0% market share last year to 8% of the smart US smart TV market. We also distribute through pay TV operators, and then we monetize. So we build that installed base. We've got almost 10 million active accounts now, growing about 50% every year. And we monetize that installed base. And one of the big ways we do that is advertising, for example. Okay, number two. What is the one thing Roku has to get right in order to remain a success? The one thing. Well, I think we need to make, remember that uh, customers really love Roku, and we need to make sure that we have a great, simple experience for customers and that we make it easier for customers to find content. Your customers like you a lot already, pretty our much. Customers have, we, our customers love Roku. It's the thing about Roku. OK, number three, who or what is the biggest threat to your business? You know, our business is going great. I don't, I, I don't see any threats that I think have the ability to really stop our success. Not even the but, three I mentioned, Apple, Google, Amazon. Those are some pretty big competitors. Well, for example, the fastest, well, I will say, the, the, so the fastest growing segment of our, of our business is our Roku TV licensing business. And in that business, we don't compete with Apple because they don't license. We don't compete with Amazon. They don't license, at least today. But Android, Android TV is a competitor. So, so, so Google is probably our, our biggest competitor, but they're also a big partner of ours. We distribute Google Play. We're a big partner for them. We distribute YouTube. So it's a, you know, it's a complicated business. Next question, could your singular focus on TV ultimately become a liability? I don't think so. I think, I think com companies that are successful start out by being super focused on a single activity and doing it extremely well. So we are, we are, you know, we have almost 500 employees. They come to work every day thinking about how to make the best streaming operating system. It's one of the reasons we're successful. Okay, and the last question, what is the future of TV, simply? Or what is the biggest sea change that we haven't seen yet that we're going to see? Well, I think we're going to continue to see the erosion of the, the so-called bundle. You know, it used to be that you had to get your TV from your cable company and you had to buy this big bundle of content and that's just breaking down. You can now get, you know, ESPN from Sling TV for $20 a month. You can get HBO direct from HBO. So we're going to see that continue. We're also going to see more and more content become available online. You know, it's going to be the point fairly soon where every video, every TV show ever made is available to watch on demand. And that's pretty exciting for consumers.